Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Ace Bendetta with Smell Better Fragrance. I am your host, Ace Benz, and I'm back with another video. Bang! Yo, I'm back with another mini fragrance haul, man. I got some good ones for you today, and I can't wait to talk about them. But first, man, like always, we talk about fragrances and all things to improve your lifestyle. Why? Because we want you to do better. We want you to be better. We want you to think better. We want you to smell better. Yo, if you find this content interesting, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow, share this content, and leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a show. Let's get to it, let's get it, let's go. Yo, so first up on the list, man, we got a um, Joe Malone fragrance, man. And this Joe Malone fragrance is lime, basil, and mandarin. So I got top notes of lime, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Middle notes of basil, thyme, iris, and lilac. And the base notes is vetiver and patchouli. So with this fragrance, man, you get what's in the name, man. You get some intense lime up top. You get that basil in the mid, that gives it the green effect. And then you get some mandarin in the base, adding another citrus aspect, man. It's a fresh and clean fragrance. Man, it's full of life and it's uplifting, man. It's a cologne concentration. So you can't expect this to last long at all, man. It will probably be great for layering fragrances um, or fresh out the shower or before bed, man. But honestly, it really does smell great. It's absolutely wonderful scent profile, man. And But... It can be forgettable. It can be forgettable, man, to be honest with you, because it doesn't last long and you'll forget you had it on. And so if you forget you had it on, the person that smelled you an hour ago, they're gonna forget you had it on as well. And the reason I bought this fragrance, man, is because I was at a um, department store and I, they had a room spray. A room spray was the same name by Joe Malone, Lime Basil and Mandarin. I thought the room spray smelled terrific, man. I went on Amazon to try to see if they had the room spray in, in stock. They didn't. All they had was the cologne. So I wanted to try it out and I thought eventually I would get it. And here we are, I got it. Great scent profile. I would say it's not worth the price tag because Joe Malone fragrances will go like 150 bucks, man. That's too much for this fragrance. It smells good. Don't get it twisted. It's a great fragrance, man. It smells wonderful, but it's not a, it's not worth 150 bucks. So that's why I went with the decant sample. I think I paid about 18 bucks for this, man. Joe Malone, lime, basil, and mandarin by Joe Malone. Now the next fragrance I have for you, man, is another Joe Malone, and this is wood, sage, and sea salt. Yeah, in this fragrance, man, you got notes of um, sea salt. Sage, grapefruit, then you got some ambrette seed and some seaweed. And this is another light and clean fragrance and it's woody and aquatic, man. It's another great scent profile, but another cologne concentration. So I'm not expecting this one to last long either. Don't get it twisted, man. It smells absolutely wonderful. I can smell it in the air right now. It's terrific. I love the scent profile, man, but I don't think, I don't think it'll attract much attention, but when it's freshly sprayed, it will catch somebody's attention. It will get you compliments. If they can smell you, you will get a compliment. It's clean, it's fresh, it's playful. It's a great scent profile, man. Overall, it's a lovely scent profile, but it's not worth the Joe Malone price tag, man. Joe Malone or someone needs to take this scent profile and make an intense version. And then we can rock out with this, man. This will be a great intense version. If it if it lasts, man, if it lasts, maybe I should try some ISO E Super or something to see if it will stand the test of time. All right, so the next fragrance I got for you, man, it is another Joe Malone fragrance. The third fragrance, man, Joe Malone. This one is called Blue Agave, Co is it Cocoa or Cacao? I think it's Blue Agave Cacao. I had to put it in this bottle right here because it came in this bottle, but there's no sprayer. Now, Joe Malone, Blue Agave and Cacao, man, it got top notes of cardamom. It got some lime. It got some grapefruit and red berries up top. And in the middle, you got some orchid, some lily, and some geranium. And in the base, you got the cacao, vanilla, cinnamon, vetiver, and some musk. Now, this Joe Malone fragrance smells absolutely wonderful. It's still a cologne concentration, but 
this one is different man this one is a little bit more denser as you can expect given the notes in this fragrance man blue agave and cacao and the cinnamon and the cardamom yeah this is this smells so good i mean i think it's going to perform much better i haven't worn it yet but um it's elegant it's warm you get this coca-cola vibe man not the fizzy coat but that stale coat you know the coat that's been sitting out all day that's what it kind of smells like not a bad smell not in it's not in a bad way. It's pretty intoxicating. It's sophisticated. It's sweet and it's very cozy. Now to be honest, I was the fool when I bought this one, man. The fragrance, it's been discontinued. So I've seen the price for over $200. And I've seen this little bottle, man, for $49 on Amazon. And to me, the picture looked like 100 ml. I did not read the description, man. I'm so pissed that I bought this little bottle. You know how they put it up in the camera? What is that? They put it up in the camera like that? And take a picture of it and you think it's a full size presentation yeah they got me they got me and i was, I was so pissed when, when my package came in honestly i played myself i was so eager to get my nose on this fragrance why because i seen comparisons saying that this right here reminded me or reminded some people of the new my games fragrance double attack to me it doesn't smell like it it got some similarities but it's not it's nothing like double attack man but this smells great in its own right man maybe it's a little close to my games but close but no cigar more of a story don't buy from ebay amazon without reading the full description because if i knew it was 49 dollars for less than 10 ml i wouldn't have did it i would have let that sit where it been man. i could have bought another I could have bought another bottle of Mind Games, a decant of Mind Games, for that 50 bucks. Alright people, so now we're getting the party started. The next fragrance on my list, man, is from Byron Perfumes, and this one is called Mula Mula. Don't want to focus, but... Man, Mula Mula by Byron Perfumes, man. This is an amber and spicy fragrance. Top notes of caramel. You got some peach and some strawberry and raspberry. You got middle notes of ginger, pink pepper, and labdanum. You got base notes of vanilla, musk, agarwood, and some patchouli, man. This is my second fragrance with the note of strawberry in it. I told you last time that I have never smelled the fragrance. I heard of a fragrance with that note. This is the second one. And boy, this is a beauty. I thought the first one was a beauty. This one is even better. My people, hold on to your hat, man. Clutch that fitted tight, cause this one right here will blow you away. This is not for the weak, and I mean that in a good way. When whoever gets a whiff of this fragrance, it's over, man. If they get caught in your scent trail, man, it's over. If you're with your lady and you got this on, man, it's over. I mean, she's not going to let anyone come near you. Man, you're done, man. This is an amazing 10 out of 10 fragrance. Get your nose on this one. I love it. I love the vanilla mixed with the caramel and the peach and the ooh, man. This is blended beautifully, man. This one is going to leave an interesting and inviting and intriguing and invigorating and a sexy central, man. It's so sweet, but not too sweet, man. I've put Mula Mula on my skin and at, at first sniff, man, I get a lot of that strawberry and that raspberry mixed with the sweet caramel. Eventually, it becomes a little bit creamy. A, a smooth whipped cream type of creamy man overall i love this fragrance man it's a love of me full bottle worthy yes it's already on the way man actually i think it's gonna be here tomorrow at the recording of this video man beautiful fragrance beautiful scent profile man get your nose on this one man for real i'm not playing this is one i i thought argos adonis wakens was banger i thought dunday was a banger Thought trying for Bacchus was a banker. They are, they are. But it's something about this one right here, Mula Mula by Byron Perfumes, man. If you haven't smelled it, get your nose on it. Get you a decant, Scent Split. This old, this whole representation, just about is from Scent Split. Yeah, I, I Mula Hall from Scent Split. Did I say it right? Scent Split. Scent Split. It's a discount code. If I can find it, if I can remember it, I can get you somewhere between 10 to 20% off. It's not my code, but I found one and it worked. Scent split. If you want to try this, man, try it. Get your nose on it. 
you will not be sorry. I promise you. All right, the next fragrance, man. I think it's the fifth fragrance, I believe, man. You got top notes of lavender, bergamot, middle notes of vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. Base notes, you got some sandalwood, musk, and kayak wood. And this is from the house of Initio, and it is Rehab. This is a beautiful fragrance as well in its own right, man. I purchased this based off the name alone, man. I've never seen a video or a comparison of this fragrance. And on the first sniff, man, similarities definitely there. The first thing I got was Spice Bomb. It's basically, if you take Spice Bomb, the original, and you remove all the spices, turn it into a smoother and creamier and fresher musky blend. Man, absolutely amazing, wonderful. I wonder if this is what Spice Bum Fresh smells like. I've never smelled that fragrance, but I can only imagine or think maybe it has some similarities. Maybe, maybe not, man. But anyway, this is a sweet, spicy, witty tobacco fragrance. Very nice fragrance, man. Beautifully done by the House of Initio. Yo, they killed it with this one, man. They probably killed it with this whole line because I, I got another one from the line and there's only one more or maybe two more that I haven't smelled. But we're gonna talk about the next one from that line that I do have and it is Paragon by Initio Paragon. This is a woody, spicy fragrance. Top notes of lavender, sage, and bergamot. Little notes of plum, palo santo, and black pepper. Yo, sandalwood and agarwood in the base, man. And personally, with this fragrance, man, I, I kind of get this calming and soothing aspect of, of, from this fragrance, man. I think it's a subtle and inviting fragrance, and it's woody, it's fruity. It's a little spicy initially, with a little bit of green aspects, and to me, it smells like and feels like a spa type of environment, man. You get this relaxation type of mood and enhancing type of energy when you got this fragrance on, man. It really is, it really does smell like a scented oil or the scented oils that they use when you're getting a body massage, man. It's enjoyable scent. It's very pleasant. It's alluring to those around you, man. It's appealing. It's clean. It's elegant. Not a heavy projector, but it's so good. Paragon is a beautiful fragrance. It is elegant. It's calm. It's soothing, relaxing again and again. It will put your ass to sleep because it's just, it's just that smooth. It's just that smooth and it's going to smooth over with the people around you as well, man. No kidding. Great fragrance. Paragon by the house of Initio. So the next fragrance I got for you, man, probably the cheapest one on the list because I got the, I got this in the biggest bottle. And um, this is from Villem Parfums, I believe it's pronounced. And this is Morning Chess. Your top notes is bergamot, middle notes is leather and galbanum, base notes is patchouli and black amber. Morning Chess, man, this is my first try from this from this line man and i'm delighted to finally sample this man after seeing a lot about it i'm um, hearing a lot about it the scent man right here is fruity it's creamy it's woody it's smoky and yes immediately you get the thoughts of creed aventus yes it smells like creed aventus especially in the opening it really does and because of that i became an instant fan man it's delicious it's dark it's provocative but it dries down real quick and that dry down becomes a real intense leather. That's what you don't get in the, in the Creed Aventus. You don't get leather, but you get the leather in this fragrance. And um, hey, it's leather prominent and it smells really good. It's a nice, a nice profile, nice scent profile and a very good fragrance, man. Morning Chest by Villain Perfumes or Perfumes. I love this fragrance, man. I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it some wear. Um, I got another one to compare it to it, but I'm gonna put it out there eventually. I'm gonna try to get some wear out of it, okay? We'll talk about it. All right, my number eight fragrance, man, I got it for you, man. This is called Blockade. This is from the house of Mind Games. Yes, I went back to this because Double Attack was so good. Mind Games, man. Great house so far from what I've tested and what I've tried, man. And this fragrance, got top notes of mango. You got some tomato leaf. You got some pink pepper and you got some bergamot. In the middle, you got mango blossom, some watery cyclamine, some star anise, some leather, 
patchouli in the base, some amber, some agarwood. It's fresh, masculine, pleasing. It's very similar to Creed Aventus in the opening, but the dry down on the skin, man, it leans a little bit more. Man, Sarah says rock boys that to me, but not the lemons, not the pineapples. You got that mango that's very prominent in this fragrance. All in all, this is a completely different fragrance with the introduction of that mango, man. It's fruity, it's playful, it's woody, it's sexy, it's very manly and very well done, man. This is a beautiful done fragrance by the House of Mind Games. And this is the second sample I got from them. And it's called Blockade. Try it out if you hadn't tried it, man. Scent splits. That's where I got it from. All right, man, so the next fragrance I got for you, man, is another one from Mind Games, and this one is called Grandmaster. All right, so Grandmaster, man, you got top notes of rose water, some black currant, peony. You got rose at the top, and it's, it's, it's not a jammy rose, man. You get this fresh rose in the opening, man. And the coffee becomes noticeable in the mid and it plays very well with that rose. And then the addition of violet and a heavier rose comes in the mid, man. You find you find the myrrh and the incense and the ebony wood in the base and this gives it that woody dry down, man. It's sophisticated, it's luxurious, and it's high end. This is a great fragrance, great for formal wear. I haven't put it on skin yet, but no, I did put it on my wrist. I tried it, you know, see how long it was going to last. And I think I got a good seven hours out of one spray on my, on my wrist. And, um, yo, I can't wait to put it on clothes. I can't wait to put it on skin and wear it for a full day, man. It's a great, beautiful fragrance. Very elegant, very sophisticated, man. All right, so the next one I got for you, man, from the House of Mind Games. And this one is Checkmate. Checkmate, you got Checkmate, you got Checkmate from Mind Games, man. This one has top notes of Divana, Red Current, and Champagne. And in the middle, you got three different types of rose, man. Bulgarian rose, rose rose, Magolian rose, May rose, and whatever. And in the base, you got some tobacco, patchouli, and moss, man. This is an absolutely stunning and amazing fragrance as well. You, you first get hit with a sweet boozy accord, man. That's what that champagne give you. And this is a special fragrance. I mean, I'm talking about you use this for date night, special events type of situation, man. This will announce your presence when entering the room, man. This right here is a head turner and it's prominent rose all the way through, man. This sweet tobacco mixed with the bourbon lies underneath the rose in the dry down, man, this fragrance. Man, it's beautiful. And on initial impression, man, it reminds me of Portrait of the Lady slash Ooh, Sad Mood by MFK. I don't own either one of those. So in my collection, it reminds me of Paris Corner, Unique Identity, and Paris Corner, Ministry of Ooh, Satin. Yo, this is a great fragrance. Great, beautiful fragrance. Delectable, elegant, fine, sophisticated, clean, very well done. Mind games ain't playing no joke, man. I'm gonna have to try the rest of the line, man. This is four. I think, I, I can't keep counting right now. I'll tell you later. So the number 11 fragrance I got for you, man. It's so good, I had to buy a second decount. I talked about this one on my last haul, man. And again, from Splits. Mind games, double attack. Amazing, warm. Spicy vanilla with loads of chocolate, man. You got some florals, you got some woody notes, smooth bourbon in it, you got some more vanilla. Yo, bourbon vanilla concoction, captivated smell on multiple levels. No said, might drop with this fragrance. This is my second decant. <laughs> my second decant of this fragrance, man. And I hadn't even wore it yet. I hadn't even wore it yet. But is that good? I will wear it. Now that's about it for me guys. If you have either of these 11 fragrances, let me know. If not, I suggest you give them a try. Go to Scent Split and get you some decants and try these fragrances out, man. Yo, like always, we want you to follow the plan. We want you to be better. We want you to think better. We want you to feel better and we want you to smell better, yo. With that being said, I'm out, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help my channel grow. Leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so every time I drop a new video, you don't miss a show, yo. Like always, 
I thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me know what you rocking. I'm Ace Benz, a.k.a. Ace Vendetta with Smell Better Fragrance. Until next time, smell good, smell better, and we'll smell you later. Peace.